What's going on guys, Zeta Black here. Salute to everyone that's tuning in. I posted a video a couple of days ago and I spoke about LeVar Ball's son, LeAngelo Ball, dating a reality TV personality uh, by the name of Nikki Maduris. And he got her pregnant and it went viral. And a three-year-old clip of LeVar Ball doing an interview with Bro Bible, it uh, it got reposted again. I actually use it in my commentary. So when I look at how some people reacted, right? There was some people, and particularly the ex-girlfriend of Lamar Odom, Sabrina Parr, she was, I saw her in the comment section of one of the blog posts. She was really upset, her and some others, that LeVar Ball would tell his sons, listen, you're not going to meet a good woman as an athlete. And he talked about how the type of females his sons were bringing home. They were basically slurs. And, well, he didn't say slur, but, uh, and there were women that did not like that. But that's truth. Fathers need to be honest with their sons especially the type of women they're going to be involved with, especially if they are going to the NBA or the NFL. You're not going to meet a lot of good women out here in the uh, entertainment industry or in, in sports. You're going to have a lot of groupies coming around, trying to pretend like they're wife material, and they're really not wife material. Now, I don't know how LiAngelo Ball's relationship with Nikki is going to play out, She's pregnant with his child, but time will tell. But I've seen where these relationships start off hot and then they cool off because they there is a bit of an age difference. She's um, a little bit older than him. He's 24. She's, I believe, what, 32, 33. So time will tell whether this relationship will work. But the fact that people had a problem with LeVar Ball being honest with his sons and telling them that you're not going to find a good woman, so don't, you know, and look at the type of women they're dating. Look at who LiAngelo was with. I mean, look at who LaMelo was with. <laughs> you know, saying? both of them are into, you know, dating older women, I guess, you know, and they're, they're meeting women that they're dating. But are these women really wife material? That's the thing you got to ask yourself. And the fact that there were women who are upset at the fact that LeVar Ball is saying this. Listen, this is what fathers should be saying to their sons when they're getting into the league. Because I see a lot of times these guys will get into the NFL, the NBA. P.J. Washington made this mistake. He tried to wife a chick that was still for the streets. She was for the streets before, and she's still for, for the streets now. And you're trying to wife up somebody like that and, and have a family, and then you realize that you made a mistake. And again... Looking at the women that I see a lot of these athletes with, because I'll break it down like this. You have women who will date an athlete when he is in high school, when he's in college, right? But for the most part, she's not really a gold digger because they started dating in high school or maybe early in college. But for the most part, she is not a gold digger. She didn't get with him while he had it, while he was in his career, so to speak. So those women to me are exempt. If a professional athlete meets his wife while he's in high school or in college, that is different. But once these guys are in the league, look at basketball wives. Look at all these shows where you have these ex-wives or ex-girlfriends of athletes, right? These guys met these women when they were already in the league. They didn't meet these women before the fame. Before the fame, these women wouldn't have given them the time of day. But as soon as they get drafted to wherever city they go to, you got all these groupies following them on social media. You see it. Look at these guys' follow list before and after they get drafted. Look who's following them. That Bernice Burgos, there was a guy that got drafted. She started following him and liking a bunch of his pictures trying to get his attention that's what happens you're not really gonna meet no good women out here 
if you are a professional athlete already in your career. It's just not going to happen. You're not going to meet a lot of good women. LeVar Ball understands that. Most men should understand that. And if, if there's a man saying, well, you, are, you can meet a good woman as an athlete. These guys are simping as a motherfucker. Okay? They are lying. They should know that you're not going to meet no good woman, at, you know, already making money, living a certain lifestyle. You're going to have a lot of gold diggers trying to get in your pocket. Look at Patrick Mahomes' wife, Brittany Mahomes. Patrick has been with her, I believe, since they were in high school. And there were, pe there were people, I believe, calling her a gold digger. I don't believe Brittany Mahomes is a gold digger. I think she's an attention seeker. But she's not a gold digger because she was with him before all the fame and all the money, even before there was even a chance he could go to the NFL. Now, we'll see if they separate, because I do believe she tried to take him to the cleaners if they were to separate. I do believe that. I believe wholeheartedly she would try to take him to the cleaners. <laughs> but this is why, you know, fathers being in their son's lives is actually a good thing, because most Unfortunately, now, a lot of these athletes of today, there are those with fathers, but there are those who don't have fathers. And the ones who don't have fathers, they don't have men telling the truth in their life that they trust in. They end up falling for a lot of these women who, um, let's be real, these women give all vibes of a domineering woman that they grew up with. You know, you got some of these athletes, man, they grew up with domineering mothers. And, and look at the, and I've seen athletes with these domineering wives and I, and I know for sure he probably grew up in a single mother environment and he, he has a domineering wife and that's the type of environment that he is used to. But LeVar Ball, his sons are used to him. So they trust, they, they, I believe they believe in him. They trust in him, but they also going to live their life. Like LaMelo is going to date who he wants to date. <laughs> Nobody's going to tell LaMelo who he's going to date. You know, uh, but again, doesn't mean that he doesn't listen to his dad. I think his dad just understands. Listen, man, you out here trying to wife up women as an athlete, man, that's, that's not going to work. That, that, I don't I don't think that's going to work. So in my commentary about Leangelo, he's a guy that's not really in the NBA like that. He's in the G League right now. That's why. It's, it's troublesome that he now be trying to have a kid with Nikki because this woman, speaking of gold digging, she's definitely has some gold digger in her. So I just hope Leangelo is prepared for that and prepared for the type of lifestyle that he's going to have to put up with. Now, she's everything is good now because I don't even think they've been dating that long. I don't think they've been dating that long. So when you look at where things are, Hopefully for him, it doesn't go south. That's what I would say. But the fact that they, you have so many people like Sabrina Parr, this is the chick that used the Lamar Odom to build her own following. Let's be real. She used Lamar just so she can gain notoriety for herself. And now she's in the comment section going in on LeVar Ball, trying to make fun of the fact that he didn't make it to the NBA. So what? His sons did. He found him a good woman. He found a woman that actually wanted a family that helped him raise his sons to be successful. So you can say whatever you want about him only playing community college basketball. He also played football as well. He was a two sport athlete, I believe. But he's done way more in life than any man. Listen, women like Sabrina Parr and others, they're not going to meet a guy like LeVar Ball and be able to get him to marry them. So they'll be upset and mad because he's talking about how these athletes are only meeting slurs once they become famous. That is a fact. Ain't no good women out here chasing no athlete. There is no good women out here. No decent woman that's wife material that is chasing behind a professional athlete. That is incorrect. That is incorrect. And yes, you're only going to meet slurs because these women go from guy to guy to guy in the industry. They all, they running in circles, getting used up. So that's why they upset LeVar Ball. But be upset at your life. Be upset the fact that you won't meet a man that's going to want to raise children with you. 
So you're going to be upset. You're going to be fake outraged. But at the end of the day, I feel like LeVar Ball has the son's best interest at heart and he gives them advice. It's up to them to be able to listen to that. You know, so let me know. Stay in the conversation. Let me know your thoughts. Like this video and share it. Follow me on Facebook, Twitter, and Instagram. And I'll see y'all next one.